I don't know where we are. We're in South Carolina State. Correct, South Carolina State. Uh, or University. Carolina. For, what, what is it? Homecoming. Home, homecoming. <laughs> coming home. That's homecoming. Well, you coming home. This, this is your home, right? Yeah. All right, you coming home. Um, I probably only been here like one time, so I ain't coming anywhere. I'm just stopping through, I guess. <laughs> um, we got Coco with us. We got hold on. We got Aria with us. What's up, boo? All right. Um, this video is gonna be full of edits. That's really all we got, and we'll talk every now and then when we can. Hey, who is that guy? Gunner. Wait, who? Gunner. Who is this guy? <laughs> He's in the building. Uh, <laughs> can't be showing no Pepsi. Pepsi ain't getting us no subscribers. Oh no, damn views. Whoa, the sunrise, late nights, wishing that this would be over. Cold ice, the same fights. We won't be getting any closer. We're supposed to be. Young, dumb, and free Thought that we never be me Hoping that you'll see What we could be Before we throw it all away And pride's forsaken both of us Always thought that we would get it right We've been fighting nine to five Always thought that you'd be by my side Our mistakes, what we have done. We're supposed to be young, dumb, and free. Thought that we'd never be mean. Hoping that you see what we could be before we throw it all away. And pride's forsaken both of us. Always thought that. So, welcome to today's video. As you can see, <coughs> this is a new addition that somebody's about to get surprised with. Um, it's something that we've discussed. When I say we, I'm talking about myself and Nikki. We discussed um, some time ago. You know, she expressed interest in having a motorcycle. I previously owned a motorcycle, so I was like, nah. I don't think we should do that. I think, uh, you know, you should just get a sports car and we go that route. She's like, nah, I'm going to get a bike regardless if you buy it or not. So you might as well just uh, <laughs> stop talking about it because I want to get a bike regardless. And I say, well, I don't think you should. So I try to discourage her by uh, showing her pictures of my bike, my old bike which I'm actually about to give away. Um, but I tried to discourage her by showing her pictures of that. And like, listen, this is what can happen. You know, everybody thinks, you know, you get you get a motorcycle. I'm going to be so careful. I'm not going to wreck this, that, and the third. But then again, who the hell prepares for a wreck? Um, it's very, very minute situations where you can see a wreck coming other than somebody driving like a jackass. But, so anyway, back to the story. So she talked about how, you know, she's going to get a bike regardless. I'm like, well, whatever. If that's what she wants, screw it. We'll both get one. So today we're washing a bike that's going to be hers. And as you can see, it is a Kawasaki Ninja. Pretty fast bike. Um, not too, too crazy, but it's got enough power, especially for somebody that's 130 pounds. Someone like me, maybe not a ton, but still, still decent power. Um, and in the edit, after this clip, you'll see, you know, what the bike looks like clean, 
some of the specs on it. It's got a um, digital speedometer, so you're not going to be able to see how fast the bike goes. I know that's like the common question, you know, how fast does the bike go, or what's the top speed of the bike. I'll be honest. I have to look it up online to really give you those numbers, and that's assuming that the numbers are accurate. Because, uh, like I said, the bike has a digital screen, digital speedometer. The only thing that's analog on this thing is the uh, RPM gauge. But I can tell you that it maxes out the rev at, uh, I think it's 13,000? Yeah, 13,000. But you start redlining right at 10,000. So, you can guess from there the type of where the, where the power band is going to be. I've driven it a couple times. Um, oh, wow, this thing has a, uh, it has like a little... I haven't even noticed this. Come look at this. So it has like a little, I guess like a pre-cut ring here where you could put like a, I think they're like 12 volt um, cigarette lighter. So I guess if she wanted to put lights on this bike, she should be able to use that section to uh, mount something in there for that. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what that, that's what that's for. I didn't know the bike came with that though. Um, but if you're not familiar with bikes, 650 is probably like your mid-range bike. Most bikes, they have 250s. That's usually where they start out. Um, a lot of them are moving to like 300s now. That's where they're starting, but 250 is usually starter. You got 300. And uh, just keep doing the math and you'll see that, you know, 1400 cc is, is the biggest that I've seen on a, on a sports bike. I'm sure some other bikes may have bigger uh, engine size than that, but you can't really get too bogged down into the uh, the size of the engine. It's more so the performance. Well, I used to have a 2004 Kawasaki Ninja uh, ZX6R, and if I had to guess, if I had to guess, that ZX6R would probably beat this bike only because the 6R, just like any other Kawasaki, like if you get like a Kawasaki 1000, Kawasaki 1000 is not gonna beat a ZX10 10R, or, or a ZX10 RR, it's not gonna beat it. Even though they have the same size engine, the bike's not tuned for racing. The bike's more so for touring. So it just doesn't have enough, enough power to keep up and a lot of times even even the horsepower numbers are are completely different um, the ZX10R or actually let's go back to the, the 636 versus this 650 I think it's like a hundred horsepower difference no, I mean not not a hundred about 50 horsepower difference between a bike and you know for a car that's not much but the motorcycle 50 horsepower you're gonna see a difference that bike's gonna respond different. Your power band's gonna kick in a whole lot sooner. If you're not responsible, try to take off, that front end's gonna lean up. So Nikki doesn't have a whole lot of riding experience. She's got a little bit, but she's gonna learn today. <laughs> not really today, but you know that little saying, you're gonna learn today, but so she's gonna learn. Cause at this point, this bike ain't going back. So she's either gonna get with the program, and uh, show me that she was as serious as she claimed to be at the beginning, or well, we're gonna have a damn problem. I'll be honest with you. Um, where the bike has been stored, not anywhere where she would know where it is. <laughs> 